Hello everybody, welcome to JD's Journeys. My name is JD and today we're going to be looking at Argentina literature. In my quest to find books from every country in the world, we move on to the big country of Argentina. And much to my pleasure, there are a lot of authors and books to choose from. So I had to pick only five I did pick five authors, although there are a couple that are quite prolific and have a lot of popular books, but I had to limit it to five. Argentina is a South American country with a fairly large population, and they speak Spanish, so all of these books are translated into English, and thankfully a lot of them are translated. As I go through this list, I just want to remind you that the comment section is open down below so you can leave any comments about these books or any other books that I have not mentioned that you would recommend to me. Also, if you want to know when I do more countries, then please subscribe. To start off, we have Ficciones by Jorge Luis Borges. The 17 pieces in Ficciones demonstrate the whirlwind of Borges's genius and mirror the precision and potency of his intellect and inventiveness, his piercing irony, his skepticism, and his obsession with fantasy. Borges sends us on a journey into a compelling, bizarre, and profoundly resonant realm. We enter the fearful sphere of Pascal's abyss, the surreal and literal labyrinth of books, and the iconography of eternal return. To enter the world's in ficciones is to enter the mind of Jorge Luis Borges, wherein lies heaven, hell, and everything in between. So this sounds pretty interesting. Actually, I had a difficult time choosing which book of his to do. Uh, I just chose the one that had the most reviews on Goodreads. So this one is the most popular book on Goodreads from Argentina. And it looks like there are quite a few interesting things in this one. Next up is Hopscotch by Julio Cortazar. The book is highly influenced by Henry Miller's reckless and relentless search for truth in post-decadent Paris and Daisets Teitaro Suzuki's modal teachings on Zen Buddhism. Cortazar's employment of interior monologue, punning, slang, and his use of different languages is reminiscent of modernist writers like Joyce, Although his main influences were surrealism and the French New Novel, as well as the riffing aesthetic of jazz and new wave cinema. Okay, we didn't get much information about what the book is about. Uh, so I'm curious about what it is about. And this book has a lot of reviews on Goodreads as well, so it seems to be fairly popular. If anyone has any information about this book, let me know in the comments below. The third book is The Tunnel by Ernesto Sabato. Infamous for the murder of Maria Iribarne, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, the artist Juan Pablo Castel is now writing a detailed account of, the, of his relationship with the victim from his prison cell. Obsessed from the first moment he saw her examining one of his paintings, Castel had become fixated on her over the next months and fantasized over how they might meet again. When he happened upon her one day, a relationship was formed which swiftly convinced him of their mutual love. But Castell's growing paranoia would lead him to destroy the one thing he truly cared about. Sabato's first novel, El Tunnel, translated as The Outsider or The Tunnel, written in 1948, is framed as the confession of the painter Juan Pablo Castell, who has murdered the only woman capable of understanding him. Sabato's no novels were praised by authors such as Albert Camus and Graham Greene. So that sounds pretty interesting. It's uh, looking into a painter who has become a little bit crazy about this one woman. <laughs> or he just became crazy. Paranoid. Yeah, sounds interesting. Next up is Kiss of the Spider Woman by Manuel Puig. Sometimes they talk all night long. In the still darkness of their cell, Molina reweaves the glittering and fragile stories of the film he loves, and the cynical Valentin listens. Valentin 
believes in the just cause, which makes all suffering bearable. Molina believes in the magic of love, which makes all else endurable. Each has always been alone and always, especially now, in danger of betrayal. But in cell seven, each surrenders to the other something of himself that he has never surrendered before. Has me curious. What are they surrendering? Well, it sounds like a couple of men who are in a uh, prison cell and they just talk a lot about some very personable, uh, personal things. And the final book is An Episode in the Life of a Landscape Painter by Cesar Ira. An Episode in the Life of a Landscape Painter is a story of a moment in the life of the German artist Johann Moritz Rugendas, 1802-1858. Greatly admired as a master landscape painter, he was advised by Alexander von Humboldt to travel west from Europe to record the to record the spectacular landscapes of Chile, Argentina, and Mexico. Rugendas did in fact become one of the best of the 19th century European painters to venture into Latin America. However, this is not a biography of Rugendas. This work of fiction weaves an almost surreal history around the secret objective behind Rugendas's trip to America. To visit Argentina in order to achieve in art the physiognomic totality of von, of von Humboldt's scientific vision of the whole. Rugendas is convinced that only in the mysterious vastness of the, the immense plains will he find true inspiration. A brief and dramatic visit to Mendoza gives him the chance to fulfill his dream. From there, he travels straight out onto the Pampas, praying for that impossible moment, which would come only at an immense price, an almost months monstrously exorbitant price that would ultimately challenge his drawing and force him to create a new way of making art. A strange episode that he could not avoid absorbing savagely into his own body interrupts the trip and irreversibly and explosively marks him for life. So that sounds interesting. I'm wondering what happened there. So it sounds like this is about a real person but it's a uh, it's fiction. So it's about a German painter who goes to Argentina and discovers something about himself. So, sounds interesting too. It's a bit difficult to choose from this set of books. So, what I would like you to do is let me know if you've read any of these and tell me which one you'd recommend. But if there are other books that you would recommend from authors from Argentina, then please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. And you can check out a couple of videos over here. Uh, this is the previous country, Antigua and Barbuda. And here is a video that is recommended just for you. Thank you for going on this journey through the world of literature with me. See you in the next video.